guys if you're between the ages of 25 and 64 this video is for you please don't go anywhere don't touch it don't touch it don't go anywhere stay right here hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel still your favorite girl favor and i'm so glad to have you back here thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber but if you're new here i'd like you to click on the subscribe button below and make sure to click on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified each time i post a new content all right so today i'm just coming to talk about something very very important for mostly the ladies but if you're a guy you're welcome to listen you can educate your sisters you can educate your partner you can educate your parents right you can help us catch the stems early before they get to the kind of serious stage okay so uh today i'm here to talk about hpv and its relationship with say, like our cancer okay so what is hpv Human papilloma virus uh, uh, is a common group of virus that infects the skin and the cells lining the inside of the body. So many of you are uh, aware of this virus, you are quite informed, while a lot of people know nothing about it. That's why I have to just talk about it, I have to just put it out there for a lot of people to know about it. So this virus can be transmitted sexually through vagina sex or anal sex and um, it can be transmitted through sharing of sex toys or even skin to skin you know when you don't even have the intercourse but you know you you do some uh, foreplay and come in contact with the skin of an infected person there's a possibility that you can get this virus okay research has it that eight out of ten people throughout their lifetime will get HPV imagine eight out of ten okay okay let's count out the Reverend Fathers <laughs> the ones the Enochs the ones who wouldn't even engage in any sexual activity at all Let's count out the nuns, the reverend sisters, the ones who, who wouldn't even engage. Maybe, I think maybe they are the 2%. So when I say 8 out of 10, the 2% might even be these people, right? These people that don't even uh, involve themselves in anything sexual, in anything kissing, in anything foreplay, in anything sex. So let's give them the 2%. You and I, in this lifetime, at some point, you'll get HPV, all right? The male, they get it. The female, they get it. The only difference is that it's 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 not of any significant threat to the males and most times they don't even know that they have it they just have it and they keep transmitting it to other women without knowing because right now there is no actual way of testing them to know if they have this virus except those who are gay uh, who have anal sex who can do an anal swab just to test for this HPV but apart from that there is no a significant way of testing them to know if they have HPV so most of them are carriers most of them they have it and they would give it to you at some point in your life all right so um some people will be like I've been a virgin all my life my husband has been a virgin all his life so this video is not for me guy girl even if they were virgins at some point they must have been in love with someone at some point they must have done a foreplay or must have done something one way or the other we will get it before we exit this life one way or the other at a certain stage of our life if you don't get the ones that are harmless you get the ones that are harmful okay so why should we be worried about them if they don't show us any symptom if most of them are harmless uh, there are over 100 types of HPV right and out of those hundred types, only just a few are harmful, others are harmless, you won't get any symptoms, your body will resolve it on its own without you even knowing that it existed in your body. So, but the few, the very few that causes problem are the ones that give uh, the cervical cancer, the ones that give the genital what, the one that give oral cancer, valvular cancer, vagina cancer, that causes some of those little, little problems okay and there are just very few of them all right so that's why we i'm um, teaching you about this that's why i'm focusing on this because you need to know about it you need to do do the test you need to just 
be aware be informed about it so that you can catch any abnormal cell changes in your cervix or in any part of your body before it is too late okay so how do we detect this hpv okay there is something called the hpv test there's something called the pap test which we call the smear test as well right so if you're a lady between the ages ages of uh, 25 to 64 uh, and you still have a cervix it's medically advisable that every three years you should at least get one uh, smear test right get a smear test test for uh, how normal the cells of your cervix is it, uh, let them check for abnormalities if you're any let it get observed let it get treated accordingly right usually when you go for the smear test and there is abnormality they usually tell you to depending on the grade or what the abnormality is saying they might ask you to redo the test after a year they might ask you to do the test after six months or even 18 months depending okay so that's why you just have to know about the stuff know about this test and know when to get it and know how to get it because that's the only thing that would help you it's the only thing that would keep you safe from getting most of this cancer and currently there's no treatment for HPV like I said your body tends to resolve it on its own but there are several ways to prevent it for the younger generation growing up they, there is H um, that's why I said even if you're below 25 this video can be of help to you because there are vaccines uh, against HPV given to the younger people before they get to that age there are uh, various uh, abstinence which I said that every sexually transmitted infection the best prevention is abstinence and even though I know you won't listen but that's one major one major key to prevent it and fewer sexual partners uh, when I say if you are sexual partners, it doesn't mean that okay, maybe the first person you have it with will not be the one to give it to you. Sometimes you don't even have many sexual partners, you just have one person. Finally, you just lost your virginity and then you have HPV. It doesn't make, but it just reduce your risk of getting multiple types or getting, you know, the harmful type by reducing your number of sexual partners. And just find your own way, Google. Respect yourself. if is an evil language they'll tell you to go around with okay so guys in the next video i'm going to talk about smear test was testing for how the sample is collected when to get it how to get it i'm going to describe everything but i don't want this video to be very lengthy so i'm going to cut it off here but before i go please if you notice any sort of bleeding bleeding from the vagina blood in urine vomiting blood blood in your feces uh, blood in between periods, blood post menopausal. If you notice any sort of bleeding, just make sure you consult your doctor. And if you've never had a swab, uh, a swab or a smear test, try and get one. All right, that'll be all for today, guys. I will do the video with a smear test shortly, and I'll put it out there just to keep you informed and updated. Okay. So I see you in my next video. Take care of yourself and be good. Right, be safe out there. Right, bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for those that have subscribed. You're the one that encouraged me to keep doing what I'm doing. Right. Just keep it going. Share the video. Subscribe. Like. Comment. Ask your questions. Get clarified. See you in my next video.